I'm back. <laughs> um, I could do a million videos like this. I'd be here. My whole life isn't long enough to be able to explain and represent what I've experienced just in the last few months. As much as we need to look inside of ourselves to understand the world around us, We also need to understand that none of it is separate. The infinite, we are a part of the infinite. Without us, the infinite doesn't exist. We seek to be modest, unique human individuals. In fact, there's so many of us that are so beautiful that we don't think we deserve happiness and to be treated with respect. Even if we thought, you know, even if the majority that have gone so far away from God decided to believe in God, we still wouldn't think we deserved it. If we don't think we deserve it, we can't get it. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be more. Yet we seek to get fit, healthy bodies. That's fantastic. Is that enough? Our bodies are fit. Okay, we, we worship mind. We want a good job. Is that happiness? Does that job, you, why do you want that job? What's your ideal job? Is that a passion? You feel in your heart that you want this job. Or is it a job that society respects? Or your mum and dad will treat you better because you got that job. That a job that is seen as, I use the term loosely, respectable, doctor, police officer, judge. Are these... Respect as a person is respect. Decency, kindness, compassion, these traits are far more important to us than any job title. You can't get fulfillment by anything but being true to who you are, not what you think others want you to become it's like it, even this is too too much for people like since when, when when did humanity lose their soul at what point did charm charisma and having a personality become wrong these are my perceptions I'm I'm not even close to the tip of the like touching the like the sides of what I'm trying to explain here to humanity it's an introduction to who I am For so long, I thought no one could understand me. 
too stuck in our mundane, limited, inhibited existence to even fathom what we are capable of and what our reality is. We are more than a mind and a body. We're a spirit, a soul. We have a subconscious. We have an unconscious level that understands far superiorly, superior, superiorly. See, <laughs> my, my. to. Anything our conscious minds can think of. Our dreams and everything around us tells us more about who we are than we could ever find out about ourselves. If two people can love each other and people can perceive this and they congratulate the two people, that's amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I love that. We can all do this. Six billion of us can do this same thing. And even the ones you don't like, you don't get along with, and you put ones you see, perceive as evil, have compassion for them. Bless them. Bless those people. Don't pity them. Don't hate them. It just makes you the same. Compassion and love. Divine traits. Divine in itself. It's not being perfect. We're human. We can get close to a Christ consciousness. We can be Christ. Only in, through knowing Christ. And seeking Christ. But people see that as weak. How can not fighting back and loving infinitely and looking to help heal and serve others selflessly be weak? How? Yet we'll go along our lives doing terrible things, making excuses for it through our past and our traumatic experiences. Know we're wrong and still turn around and say, oh, I'm just a little me. But when we try to be something beautiful, people either think you're being self-righteous fake when did real become fake and fake become real my message here has been quite negative but where I'm heading is a wondrous beautiful place if you give me a chance I could change your life as I'm changing mine through facing my reality. This I'll get to.